<laughs> we are 29 weeks fighting. Everybody's talking about the glue. Say it out loud, spill the truth. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. I'm about to have a mini me. My baby is doing amazing. My brother must be proud of me because yes, I went for the class. another vlog if you're new here my name is Naku Alite and you're most welcome however I'd really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing YouTube family I know my hair is in a mess but yeah I'm actually off to the salon now and before we get into today's vlog I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for all the congratulatory messages and well wishes and the love on my you know pregnancy announcement video you guys it took a lot for me to post that video it really took a lot like after i finished editing the video i said i was going to post it you know um 12 o'clock 12 o'clock um p.m on first january now it was 12 and i was nervous to post the video so i said okay let me wait till three now it got to three o'clock and i was still nervous i didn't know if i like if i really wanted to post it and i don't know i was just holding back and so i said okay let me wait till six o'clock but then when it was four o'clock after it was four o'clock i said to myself you know what let's post this i posted it at 5 p.m and god after i posted it i just said let me go offline for a while because i was i was so nervous but yeah thank you guys so much and for like all the lovely messages wishing me well i also wish you guys you know very well and just as you wish well for me that's the same way that god would come through for all of you thank you guys so much i really 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 do appreciate it like after posting that video i felt so much love from you guys and yeah i'm grateful yeah i'm actually off to the salon i'm going to wash my hair and i'll install um a double frontal ponytail tomorrow but like at a but like at a different place so i just want to wash my hair today it's today is friday it's like almost 5 p.m or so so i just want to wash my hair today then tomorrow i go to um what's, what's the place called prickels i go to prickels to have the double frontal ponytail installed so i'm having my gender review this weekend um i'm having it on sunday and i'm so excited so yeah i'm doing my double frontal ponytail for the gender review and i've had to wait so long to know the gender of my baby i had my anomaly scan done on 26th november right here yeah. i had it done on 26th november and it's been over a month but we'll finally have the the gender reveal done um this sunday so i get to know the gender of our baby the reason why we've had to wait for like over a month is because i want like my parents and my siblings like everyone here and so we just had to wait until now and i'm so excited i can't wait <laughs> i can't wait but yeah a few people know the gender of the baby um ifwa emeka and um another family friend of ours because she's making the cake for for the gender review 
and so yeah they know the gender of the baby i can't wait to, to get to know myself because it's been i don't know i'm like i'm i'm anxious to know i'm literally like eager to know i can't wait and so yeah that's what i'm up to today and oh i got my nails done yesterday i got it done at Beauesthetics spa um it's just you know um gel builder on my natural nails and yeah so i would let you guys know once i get to the salon and i'm actually impressed my hair is growing real quick not like impressed i'm not i don't suffer to, to grow my hair but yeah i'm i'm loving it so i'm on my way to the salon now i'll let you guys know when i get there as always what's up so today is saturday i've actually just been lazying about in the house um my parents and my siblings also came in like this morning so i've just you know been trying to sort them out and all of that and i'm just getting ready to go have my double frontal ponytail installed today i'm going to prekels um it's on the east they on the road so that's why i'm going to have my hair done and yeah get ready for my gender reveal tomorrow that's why my parents and my siblings are here because you know i just wanted everybody around so we're doing that tomorrow i'm so excited i really can't wait so yeah that's what i'm doing today and oh let me show you guys my nails properly like i really love how this came out so this is um gel builder on my natural nails and then i put like glitters at the tip i got it done at Beauesthetic spa i think i'll actually go by Beauesthetic spa again today because my little sister wants to get her nails done so um probably after doing my hair we'll go by Beauesthetic so that she can get her nails done and then we'll come back home so yeah i'll keep you guys posted as always Sip on it, take a trip on it. Yeah. When I got you, can go slow. Wind it up on night. Baby, take your time. Let me know I go on. I go on. When you tell me wrong, I go on. When the neighbors see I'm tied down. We keep it going. Like bum, bum, bum. Throw it back, then rotation. Take a rest and just season. up so yesterday um i had to stop vlogging at some point like at the salon today is sunday and i stopped vlogging because the place was getting like too busy and i really don't like it when i disturb like random people with like my videos and all of that because i hate it when i see people taking videos and like sort of includes me without my permission do you understand so i just decided to stop vlogging and my phone had even run low so yeah done with my hair and i love it i'll show you guys you know how it looks properly after i get glammed up and all of that because gender reveal is today and yeah so that's what i'm up to today i'll keep you guys posted as always and i think i'll just do like a separate video for the whole gender review so yeah look forward to that and i'll see you guys soon <laughs>
today is Friday. Um, I've actually been home the whole like the whole week after the gender review. I've just been home the whole time. So today I'm stepping out with my sister. I promised to take her to Rose Garden for brunch, and I'm meeting up with my girls as well. So I'll take you guys along as always. And yeah, it's just been a very chilled week for me. Just you know, enjoying the moment, and I'm about to have a mini me so yeah we finally know the gender of the baby and it's a girl so yeah we're about to have a mini me so our youtube um, uncles and aunties get ready for your knees <laughs> i'll let you guys know once i get there guys so today is sunday my sister is leaving today and so we're at the airport to drop her off and you know we just go back home so that's what i'm up to today can't get no sleep on each other heavy teasing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come through kick it with you night turn to morning up so um huh. it's a new week i have a lot to do today but i'm so tired and lazy like i'm so tired i've not done anything today but i'm so tired it's a, it's like it's just noon now it's like 12 6 and i feel so tired um we are in our third trimester now and this is how we are looking um yep yeah. So, third trimester has been a lot of sleeping for me because I'm mostly lazy. Especially if I go out, like if I go out uh, on a particular day, when I come back home, it feels like I have been beaten. Like I sleep throughout the time. Like when I get back, I just sleep. And today I have so much to do, but I don't know what I thought. I, I had um, cocoa, I was at cocoa early this morning. And it's even made me like super lazy. Like I've just been sleeping throughout the morning. I woke up around, let's say eight-ish. I had the cocoa and then I went back to sleep. And I had to force myself out of bed because at this point, if I don't like push myself to get things done, I'll just be sleeping the whole day. So I actually went to braid my hair yesterday. I went to get braids done. Because after the, the gender review, I took off, you know, the 
double frontal ponytail because the the frontal wasn't in this and i just had my hair on i like i really didn't know what to do to the hair so i just decided to braid and also because we're about to go on our very last trip before baby girl arrives so yeah mommy and daddy to be are about to take you know their last trip as a family of two before baby girl arrives and yeah that's also another reason why i opted for braids because um, it would make my life easier on you know the trip and so i need to pack um i need to pack my things and yeah i need to get that done today because today is a monday i'm home the whole day i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and that would be like uh um sort of like 30 weeks um appointment because we are almost 30 weeks we are 29 weeks um four days i think where are you actually five days oh. i don't know if you guys can see this but yes we are 29 weeks five days and i've still not fixed the screen of my phone because i've just decided not to but yeah i'll get that sorted out but like i was saying i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and that will be like a 30 weeks um, appointment and i get to see baby girl again and she's growing so well um yeah she's growing so well i remember during our very last appointment which i went with hubby doctor was you know quite impressed and he was like baby baby girl looks tall because hubby is tall and yeah i'm looking forward to tomorrow's appointment and then um we leave accra for our trip on thursday so yeah that's just about it i need to park i need to park <sighs> and oh i did my what's it called my glucose test um over the weekend so i get to you know know the results when i see the doctor tomorrow and yeah so tomorrow i'm having the doctor's appointment i also have antenatal class tomorrow my mother has been worrying me she's been on my case because i've <laughs> i've not been i don't know like i went for i think i went for my first two classes and that's it that has been it and my mother has been on my case since because i understand her don't get me wrong i understand her she wants me to make sure i go through all the sessions of the antenatal class and so fortunately for me <coughs> fortunately for me the next class um is also tomorrow so that means i wouldn't have to go to the hospital you know twice like probably in the same week because after my my appointment i can go for the for the class which is which is fine by me just that it's going to be a really long day but i prefer that to you know going to the hospital tomorrow then you know having to go another day for just antenatal class like you know it's just uh, these days i try as much as possible to um do everything not like do everything like maybe in the week i know i have to get this 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 done i would prefer to do all of them on a particular day so let's say i know i have to go to the hospital today i need to do like grocery shopping i'll push all of them to the day i'm supposed to go to the hospital so that after the hospital i get all of that done because i don't have the energy to be doing like you know back to back or going out three times in the week like i really don't have the energy mostly when i go out on a particular day say i go out um today is monday so let's say i'm going out tomorrow i need the whole of wednesday to sleep like just don't call me out don't invite me out because i am not coming that's it's as simple as that i am not coming so yeah i'm going to get my packing done and i'll catch you guys later i know guys i love the way like everybody is you know talking about the glow the glow <laughs> everybody's talking about the glow like guys 
show me a more glowing pregnant woman i'll wait because even me this glow just the over me so yeah show me a more glowing pregnant woman and i'll be waiting but yeah charlie all jokes aside i really don't look like I, I I look nothing close to what I went through in my first trimester. I don't even think I have pictures and videos of me from my first trimester because Charlie, it was terrible. I was just throwing up, feeling nauseous, like it was that bad. I don't think I even took, like I didn't have the energy to even take a picture. I was almost always in my nightwear, in the couch, in the bedroom, Except for days when I had to, you know, go to the hospital for my doctor's appointments and all of that. Aside that, guys, it was terrible. And I would not say I really broke out. I had, I think it was because it was like, you know, during the early stages. If you've watched my first trimester um, video, you understand what I mean. But yeah, because I was like, during the early stages, hormones and all of that, my body was now, I think, adjusting to the whole pregnancy and so, I wouldn't say I really broke out, but I had like just you know some small breakouts on my forehead, and because I was just tired, lazy, and about like I I felt sick throughout that whole period. But I thank God for how I'm looking now, <laughs> and I thank you guys so much for you know all the compliments on the glow because i'm really enjoying this pregnancy glow initially yeah i didn't really believe in what's it called pregnancy glow but right now you can't tell me nothing because hello <laughs> guys let me just go and pack my things because if not by the time i realize i would have jumped back into my bed and the day would have been wasted because it's already midday so let's get things done hey guys what's up so um today is wednesday today is travel day but uh we'll be leaving like later in the evening actually when i said i was going to park on monday i didn't do it i couldn't do it because i was so tired from doing nothing and like i mentioned i had taken cocoa earlier in the morning and so it made me like super lazy as compared to like every other day like on the usual um of late i've just been sleeping and i'm always like tired from doing nothing and monday was like too much so i ended up not packing on monday yesterday i went for my appointment i went to see my obstetrician and everything is very well baby is growing doing good and it's so amazing like we're getting closer and closer i remember how during the first trimester i was i felt like the weeks were not moving the days were not moving but this time around like i don't know it feels like it's going by so quickly like i can't believe we're almost there and so yeah baby is doing amazing and um, i also went for my antenatal class my mother must be proud of me because yes i went for the class it was a good one we're just you know three in the class so it was very interactive that's one thing i love about you know our classes um the maximum number is even like 15 and i don't think i've ever been to one where we've even been more where we've even been more than five so it makes it you know very interactive and very personal and so yeah um I'm really enjoying this journey like everything feels very exciting to me during the class yesterday we were given um, a list of stuff to pack in our hospital bag and I don't know it just it just made me so excited because yeah like you know that you are getting close and so yeah they gave us a list of stuff to have like necessary stuff you need to have in your hospital bag and I was also given this um chat to track the movement and activities of the baby like whenever the baby kicks and stuff like that you you take the chat and yeah that's about it so i'm now about to pack my stuff because like i said we'll be leaving um, later this evening and yeah i'm so excited about this trip because it'll be like our last trip as a family of two and i get to you know spend quality time with hubby before baby arrives 
so yeah and i would want you guys to guess where you think we are going i'll give you guys a clue right so this particular destination has been my like very first travel destination for the past two years so this will be like the third consecutive time i'm visiting this particular um, country or destination as my first you know travel of the year so yeah drop your comments down below as in where you think we are going but i think the clue i've given should be enough clue for you to know if you've been an og on this channel like if you are an og on this channel this clue should like you should get it so yeah put it in the comment section down below and uh, let me quickly go do my packing so that i can i think i would want to rest a bit before you know the flight and all of that so i'll keep you guys posted as always and i don't know i'll, I'll probably end this vlog after packing or we'll see how it goes but yeah i'll catch you guys later Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turning to morning, too. Keep to the lock, we in 